Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Now the most suitable features on this Limited is its parking sensors, you have your navigation system as well as your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you a bit of familiar with this 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a closer look you have the chrome accents on the front along with your two light bars and your plug-in block heater. Parking sensors over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards as well as your body side moldings. Integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. You have the smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. And to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you have your mirror controls with your parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer, along with your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows, along with your seat memory controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition display, and cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here with your speedometer. You have a digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge. You can also go through and see your average fuel economy, as well as your cruising range, and a couple of other additional features. Taking a look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features which include your digital clock, hazard lights, and then taking a look inside your apps menu, you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. You do have the premium JBL sound system with your XM satellite radio. Dual zone climate control settings just located down below. Along with your USB and auxiliary input, you have your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger along with your power outlet, 4x4 select, matted to an automatic transmission with your open and close for your power rear window. Taking a look at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror, along with integrated garage door opener controls, open and close for your power moonroof, with the tilt up and down feature, traction control on and off, A-track and downhill assist control, with your sunglass case holder and then I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like so as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate you have your backup camera on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you have a 50-50 split for your third row, so in the event that you need the additional passengers, it is available to you. If you need more additional room, you can actually fold down that rear seat by pulling on one of the two tabs that you see on either side there. The other nice thing is you do have the cargo liner in the back, which is great, because if you spill any liquids back here, it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards, just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly. You have the power outlet located on your right hand side, so if you're ever out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend, you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you can also open up the rear windows from the outside here just by using the controls. You want to make sure you have the key fob on you at all times, because if you don't, you won't be able to use this feature. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.